For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self taught you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. Get through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Ow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. Now, for all you traditionalists, knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. <coughs> so that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. 
Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spell book, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great. I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight. Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. It must be Calypso's junk. What would I want with that pile of junk? It's a fine example of its kind. You wouldn't expect to see one of those here. The door appears to be stuck shut. It's my little dog, Chippy. I haven't got the heart to wake him. A shallow drawer in the wizard's writing desk. Oh, look. There's a pair of scissors in here. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. of highly magical and smelly compost. Very muscular. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. It's a fine example of its kind. No one will miss this old thing. It's a metal bar inside a bell. It's large, wooden and completely locked. Hey man, heavy metal! A shifty looking bloke selling bric a brac. You interested in any priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grohl. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. 
Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry, sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots of other stuff though. Let's have a look then. Anything on the mat is yours, for only one gold piece. See anything takes your fancy? Not really. Have you got any magic and stuff? But of course I have. For the right price, firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. Genuine, long-lasting, fast-action strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um... Or right, five gold pieces. Well... Three gold pieces then? But that's the last I go. What do you say? Can I see something else? Certainly, sir. What I have here is a one-off. It's a unique, magical, invisibility amulet. What? Can you see yourself? Uh, no. And this can be yours for only five gold pieces. I can't say fairer than that. Now can I? Can I see something else? That's all the magical stuff I've got. Do you see anything else interests you? No, all the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? It's a sturdy wooden door. I love wagon wheels. You can go up it or down it. It's too big for me. It's super-powered elephant cold remedy. Moose head. It's too big for me. They look just like the ones my brother grows. I can't reach them. Vertebrates. Ah! Uh -huh. 
The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay, but I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet? Please. No. I'll remember this, you know. It's a two-headed punk shopkeeper. Was it you that put the organic soup here? It goes better with all the other soups. But it's organic. So it goes with the other organic stuff. What the hell do you know? Excuse me? <laughs> How can I help you? No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me? 30%? Uh, 40? 50? Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? What's the square root of 1369? 37. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. What do you know about sordid? He likes jellied anchovies. And perfume bath salts. Anything else? Where's the door? No need to be rude. They are squares of chocolate cake. I would like to buy this. They're a special order. It's a wide variety of cosmetics. I would like to buy this. They're just display models. They are bleach, detergent, washing powder and window cleaner. It's a storage bin for corn. Soft, strong and thoroughly absorbent. It's an antique wooden cuckoo clock. Excuse me. How do, boys? What's new? Not a lot. He's a little uglier, perhaps. And, and he's a little stupider. See you around. Bye. Apparently the place is called the Drunken Druid. A jolly looking barman. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Incidentally, it's a fine establishment you have here. I'm very proud of the Drunken Druid. It's my pride and joy. People come from the whole village to raise a jar in here. I've got a reputation of fine service and even finer ales. 
Business is especially good at the moment though because of some guy called Sordid. How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result all the heroes are donning rusty armour again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? Old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. You talk a lot, don't you? I'm a bartender. The punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. I quite fancy a drink now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Where is it? What's that stupid man done with it? I'm sorry sir, I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay, I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? How about a warlock surprise? Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some essence of fruit back down here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, Helen Buckshot! I'm sorry sir, I can't seem to find any essence of fruit bat at the moment. That's okay, I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? Can you do me a cool red witch? Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some powdered toucan down here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, Helen Buckshot. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any powdered toucan at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. He looks completely out of it. I wouldn't want to wake him. I wonder what this is doing here. It's a box of safety matches. It's made from real dwarf hair. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hello. So, do you come here often? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. You two would look great in my next movie. What? Um... What do you want? I... I love you. Oh, what a gritty, irritating adolescent. I just want to ask you some questions. You're not from some sort of magazine, are you? Uh, yes I am. Okay then. You're not married, are you? No. Would you like to slip into something more comfortable? Get a grip on your hormones for a minute, please. What are your measurements? I'm a 38, 22, 34. And I'm a 36, 
What are your hobbies? I like killing things and drinking a lot. And I like needlework and decorative embroidery. And killing things and drinking a lot. Don't you get a little cold during the winter? We just move around a lot, if you know what we mean. What do you wear in bed? Armor. Thought as much. Have you always wanted to be barbarians? I killed my first goblin when I was four. And we liberated our first city when we were seven. How are you planning on getting into the tower? Well, brute force has never failed us in the past. But if that fails, then we've heard that the druid may be able to help. We can't find him anywhere, though. Where'd you get your armor? Battle Dwarf Forge in Northgate. We've never been disappointed. Do you know anything about the evil wizard Sordid? That's why we're here, actually. We've drawn it from the far northern steppes to battle with him. Through the perilous wastelands of Kring, pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgie the Merciless. Across the plains of death and the fields of doom, where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We're now preparing to attack the Sorcerer's Tower and save the world. Again! What are your ambitions in life? Yesterday we pledged to rid the land of orcs. But we decided it was too easy. So today our ambition is to kill Sordid. Do you dye your hair? I use orcs blood to do mine. And I use troll brains. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Goblin flakes and orc eye, sunny side up. No more questions, ladies. See ya. You better give us a good review. Or else. Phew, it's awfully hot in here. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a wind. What you do is tie it on with a piece of string. It rubs against your chin, though. It can give you a nasty rash. So the prevailing wind is north, yes? Oh, not at this time of year. East is far more likely. But in the game, it's north. That's stupid if you ask me. Very realistic at all. Nor is building the Great Wall of China to keep out demons. Demons can fly. Everyone knows that. Maybe it's a magical wall. Mm, I suppose it could be. It doesn't look magical though. It seems a bit harmless. Us knocking it down like this. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? No, we didn't have to pay for it. A nice man, though, as I recall. Very clever with his, uh, walk, wasn't it? That thing looked really sharp. I wouldn't dare mess with it. I wanted to meet his confused friend he was always on about. He wasn't confused. He was called confusion or something. Judging by some of the things he is supposed to have said, he sounded pretty confused. I'm a friend of his confused one. Again. Let's have another go at this game then. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village according to the guide. And making no progress with our task. We only just got here. We'll find the bloody thing. Apparently the renegade warlock sorted was last seen in this area. I hope we don't run into him. That's put me right off my beer. I remember sorted in the circle. Right little way. Time for another game. I'll be the North Wind this time. Right, have we twitted the sparrows yet? I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh, 
but what's his name? You know, the short man said that was very important. I think he just makes an awful racket. It doesn't sound much like sparrows either. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a cow. Never be a salt thing on it. It worked for me. So that's 44 points. Yes, but double it for having a pair of concealed green dragons, I think. But I went, my gong. So don't I win? You don't have any concealed dragons, though. But I've got an exposed gong of red dragons. I think I'd better consult the rules again. Where old Calypso could be. Yeah, odd him not being at home. He might be out collecting ingredients. We'll look for him in the morning. He might know something about the bloody staff. Shush, our mission's top secret. Well, I'm bloody fed up with a damn thing. We've been searching for it for the past three months. At least we know roughly where it is now. If you hadn't broke the detector thingy, how was I supposed to know it wasn't waterproof? Well, the cert was going to have something to say about it. Delicate and valuable piece of apparatus, that was. Right, have we twitted the sparrows yet? I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh, uh, what's his name? You know, the short man said that was very important. I think it just makes an awful racket. It doesn't sound much like sparrows either. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man, they think they're disguised as yokels. Well, we didn't have to pay for it. Excuse me. Yes, boy. What's this game you're playing? We be crop rotating, bait we. Who are that we be? And we be be being wizards, bait we. No like. We be being farmers. We be less magical than an organic porcelain like. You have absolutely feeble accents for us. Are you saying we be fakes like? Yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? Do you know anything about this sordid geezer? We will not impart such information to you, a non-wizard. Stop wasting our time. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a cow. Listen to me for a second. This way. Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. I wonder where old Calypso could be. Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. I want to be a wizard. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. So I'm the East Wind, right? Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being uh, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey, just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last known was Nat, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. He's like the necromancer, always messing up with embalming, doing and kittens. I'm kissing some very, very good. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. No problem. We look forward to your return.
where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village according to the game.
stone table used for the sacrificing of shaved lions. Caution, paleontological dig in process. There's a strange man digging down there. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? You're adding to your interesting rock collection? Not bad. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Of course, the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Nah. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Of course you are. Now sod off, we'll taste a sharp end of his spear. Nice people. There's a piece of paper under this rock. shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Extremely large and daunting doors. I should have known this would happen. He looks miserable. Excuse me? Yeah? The sun has got his hat on. Hip 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 hooray! Who are you? A wandering minstrel? A wandering minstrel? I like minstrels. But I doubt if even you could cheer me up at the moment. 
What did I do to deserve this? I hope your bad luck's not catching. It's not so much bad luck. My main woe is trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. Is it true that you can tell the age of a tree by counting its rings? Of course. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Were you holding the axe the right way around? I tried holding it in every way imaginable, but to no avail. Who would magically protect a tree? Wizards are a weird bunch. Who could guess at their motives? I'm a wizard, actually. I'm not in the mood for jokes, Minstrel. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Yeah. I guessed as much. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. I bet you feel a proper fool. All right, don't rub it in. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. You should make your axe out of me. I'm well hard. I doubt you're as hard as Melrith. You're not as rare either. I've never even heard of anyone that's seen it. Rare? What, like uncooked meat? Not really. Rare, as in a straight real estate salesman. I spoke to the dwarves about it and they just laughed and gave me this metal detector. What's a metal detector doing in this dimension? What are you doing in this dimension? Working for the good of the people. This metal detector's detecting metal. Why don't you take it and look around for some Melrith? You couldn't do any worse than me. Okay. What shall I do? There's someone fishing down there. That doesn't work. I'll be the laughing stock of the guild.
I'd better knock. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. It's your birthday. It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew. And I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being late though. Everyone else is. I think your costume is really good. Uh, don't worry though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. On. I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swampling to swampling for generations. What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe. Can't tell secret ingredients. Set one, swamp mud. Very important ingredient. Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes Swamplings cooking no more. I spend hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> if it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Kitty! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Kitty! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> no one there. you like it? Plenty more for friends. Please, have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh, no. A friend. It was delicious, but I really have to go now. Eat up! It's good for you! Oh no! It's not mine to pick up. Not again! Oh no! I've run out of 
bucket of stew. I'm so sorry. I'll just go collect gradients to make more. Stay here. I'll be back soon. Thank God I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. It's an empty wooden chest. It's too big for me. It's the empty stew pot that the swampling cooks his stew in. really ugly barbarian. A solid stone statue of a wizard. in a deep sleep. I don't think I can shout loud enough to wake him. It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. How do you survive with such a near fatal wound? It's only the courage of a bear that prevents me from passing out. Okay, let's have a look at it. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Wow! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. 
I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! I couldn't breathe under there! My whole life flashed before my eyes! There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Huh? We're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? I pride myself on not talking to tree stumps or woodworm. That's just so typical. Just because I've got eight legs, you presume there's something wrong with me. It's racism, and that's what it is. Pure bloody-minded racism. Racism? Against woodworm? And that's just part of the problem. You don't even see us as people. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but... We've got just as much right to draw breath as you have. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, gun for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, Fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, Flabberbun! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, Griffin! I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had dough for wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. What do I get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing you've made an invertebrate's life more bearable. I feel better just thinking about it. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Graf comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well, be off with Hang on a minute. I've fought with this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong! Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you, and then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's that easy! Listen, Mr. Gruff, every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the field. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't you really 
reasonable here. It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Cuff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning the remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the state. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Can't you talk about this like civilized adults? I shall not, I shall not be rude. Okay, you've made your point. I shall not, I shall not be rude. I'll go and get the biggest gruff brother. I shall not, I shall not be rude. Look, let's be reasonable about this. I shall not, I shall not be rude. Sure we can come to some You realize that action of this type is in direct violation of subsection 3, paragraph 4 of our contract. I shall not, I shall not be moved. He's stopping anyone from crossing the bridge. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Excuse me, but you spelled rights wrong on your placard. You spelled rights wrong on your last sentence. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Satisfaction are small furry rodents with a nasty disposition. Eh? Hey? Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here across the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation until I get a goat to eat. No one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a big tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... You're scared of a billy goat. This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. How would you like your goat? Two would be nice. It's been ages since I can stew goat. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Why don't you have a go and find out? They say curiosity kills the troll. But here goes. Now we're worry. Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you in. Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, you've been picking on my friend. He seems to think otherwise. Ow. What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. 
See ya. Doesn't look very intelligent. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What I don't know about magic ain't worth knowing. Why aren't my beans growing then? Hey. I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. I think you've been conned, mate. No, the peddler told me he was an old friend of mine. He even bought me a drink. Maybe they're dud beans. They can't be. They came from the same batch as the ones that Jack used. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. Actually, I... And if you're lucky, I'll split the fame and fortune with you. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry, it's just the annual meeting of the Tokyo Appreciation Society. Where's the rest of them then? In that cave, enjoying themselves. It's my duty this year to get lunch. I haven't had a nibble for half an hour though. Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cage not on the phone. Oh, right. What do you do at these meetings? We talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book, hence the costume. Luckily, I happen to have some top quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. 
this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Tom. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on when I started fishing. I wonder if this thing really works. Bloody hell! It does work! I'd better take it off before I wear it out. The Great Ring. It has strange symbols on it. Have you got the water yet? I'm working on it.
shut up, please? Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? You can't. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm not staying here without a racket going on. Example of a bucket of water. I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. It's a strong wooden truck. How do you suggest I open the locks? It looks like the sort of thing a witch might fly on. I wonder if it's the one from Sleeping Beauty. I used to make these things when I was younger. Somehow, I don't think this one's lucky. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? I was only borrowing it. Borrowing it, eh? Uh, sorry? Of here before I do something nasty. Yes, ma'am. Phew, that was a close one.
you got the water yet? As a matter of fact, I have. Good. Pour it on the seat then. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. still some beans left in the puddle. Turn it within an hour.
I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. already found the mill rift. It's a statue of a pygmy warrior woman. says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. My God! It's a real dragon! Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. My, that's an interesting rock. It has a fossil in the middle of it. doesn't work. Wow! Very sophisticated. Itchy, though. What's the password then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. He's assaying the gems from the mine. He appears to be asleep. Watch your fellow dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. What's rattled your cage? You, now go away. I'm an inspector from head office. Where's your ID? Uh, I've left it at home. Leave me alone. Excuse me. Hello! Wow, heavy sleeper. Stop! Guard, get rid of him! Tootsie dwarves only!
but I'm standing in for Axe Face Skull Splitter. Why? What's wrong with him? Some trolls mistook him for a chair. I don't believe you. Fair enough. So nap on! I am a duty dwarf. No, you're not. Fair enough. So nap off. Do you accept bribes? 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 What did you have in mind? Hang on a minute. It had better be good. wandering around wearing this beard. It's too itchy. Ah, that's better. Is it done yet? Just adding the finishing touches. has a fossil in the middle of it. That doesn't work. Catch! What is this? You tell me. You're the expert. It looks like a rock to me. It's got a fossil in it. I'll believe that when I see it. Take it back and get the fossil out. Right. That cough medicine has knocked him out like a light. The dragon's hoard, a pile of gold coins. I'm not going past him. If he wakes up, I'll be toast again. It's a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. It's the 
oldest thing in the entire game. Catch! I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it. Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course. Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent. I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. How am I going to get out of this hole? Oh dear. I forgot my rope to get out with. Curses! Dr. Von Jones searching for fossils. Call I don't think I want him to know I'm here. I don't think he'll be pleased to see me. There's no fossils down here. A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. Not even the right soil structure. Wait till I get my hands on that kid. I... It's a lump of metal bearing rock. Threat! I've broken my shovel. Can you do anything with this? I can do anything you want with such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure. How will I live? I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out trees. Here I come. A pin used as a foothold for climbing across a rock face. There's a very hot fire burning in it. A hook used for hanging a pot over the fire. It's fixed to the fireplace. Even I'm not stupid enough to try that.
I love these things. The fire has been extinguished. It's a pile of oak logs. It's a block of valuable wood. I like mahogany. It's been over an hour. Got a little problem with the front nozzle. Soon have it sorted. That's just plain silly. You got that mahogany yet, then? As a matter of fact, I have. Which one? Attack! <laughs> that was wonderful. Cozy in this hat, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. If you need us for anything, just shout, okay? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird.
Oi! You <laughs> shall not pass! I shall not be stopped by a lump of water and a carrot. <laughs> you shall not pass! I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. You shall not pass. A very poor specimen. It hasn't even got any ears. <laughs>